Hey beautifuls! Welcome back to my channel today. So today we're going to be diving into my P. Louise subscription box. This is going to be for June 2024. I always have to think about it a moment because P. Louise is a really great subscription, but it does ship later and you do receive it on time. But just in comparison to other boxes out there, it tends to ship behind everything else. So I have with me the June box. We're going to go ahead and do a full unboxing today and we're going to see what's inside. <laughs> If you're interested in this subscription, I will be posting a link down below for you guys. This box, I currently do not have a coupon code for. I keep emailing them, I keep asking them. I don't always pull the whole like, hey, I'm a YouTuber, can you send me a code? But in this case, I have been. I've been emailing them directly as Sydney from Subscription Sisters saying, hey, I have an audience. I know you guys would be interested in having a discount code. So I am still desperately trying to reach out to them. I can't even get a response back though, to be honest with you guys. I don't know if they're just not interested in working with other YouTubers, but yeah, so far I do not have anything for this box. But if you would like to purchase, I do have the standard links down below. There's a lot in here again though. I'll be honest with you guys. See, this happened in May too, that I felt like there were a ton of items. First item inside of my box today is the Cheek of It Liquid Highlighter. This is in the shade Trust Fund. It says the perfect pop of glistening glow. It is a liquid shimmer highlighter. So this is what it looks like outside of the box. So it's just a tube. Like it said, the formula is a liquid highlighter. This brand is all cruelty free as well. So every product that you guys are gonna see today are cruelty free items. On the tip of it, you're gonna have a very fuzzy applicator. So you essentially are going to squeeze this tube and that way you can apply your liquid highlight then with no mess. That's the idea behind this. Typically you can take this off and well, maybe not. This one does not come off. It is like glued on there. So sometimes you can remove these and that way you can have a little bit more control with it. But in this case, it looks like you have to use the applicator that it comes with. They do have a twist here where you will twist this top where you want it to be open or closed. So kind of nice for traveling. I like that you can close that before you leave. Otherwise this could just be going everywhere. The shade is this color here and then also down below. So I do think it's a really nice highlighter. I can definitely see the shimmer there. I do like that we have makeup and I do like that it's something different that I've not had before from her. Now we also have a second liquid highlighter inside of this box. This one is in the shade on Wednesdays. So on Wednesdays we wear pink. That's my guess. Let's see here. Ah, it is, it's a pink eyeliner. Okay, that is super cute and super clever, you guys. So this is the color here. It's honestly, it's the shade of the packaging. Now this, I'm 100% for. I love this. So same thing, it's going to have the fuzzy applicator down here at the bottom. I really wish I could take this off and use it, but no, this one doesn't work either. But it is really pretty. I like that it's the pink highlighter. It's got a little bit of gold shimmer in it as well. I do like this color a lot. These are full size products too. The next one that I have says P. Louise Learning Lines Practice Makes Perfect. It's a microphone. Like just look at it from a distance you guys. You see the microphone here? Like you're supposed to be singing and dancing in the morning. Oh my gosh, so cute. See, every time, and I know I talk about this, all of my subscribers talk about the packaging, but seriously, P. Louise is always innovative with their packaging. They change it up every single month, and it's not like they do one thing. They do all sorts of different things with their packaging. So this one says, mic check 1212, amplify your skill set with brushes that set the record straight. So this is a liner brush set. It's magnetic, so you'll just pop the top right off, and then you're going to see your three brushes. They are going to be pink with the gold finish and then they are liner brushes. So you're not going to have a lot of bristles. This is designed for very precise line work. So if you're wanting to do wings or if you're wanting to actually freestyle and draw something, this is what you would want to use is something that's very precise like this. This brush here is going to be great 
for cutting any sort of edges or creases. A lot of times, a trick that I will do to brighten up this area here is I will apply a concealer underneath that black wing. I will use a brush like this, that way it's angled, and you can actually just carve right next to it. The white next to the black is going to make it stand out even more so than if you use your traditional foundation next to it. So it's just a little hack you can do to make it really clean, really bright, but this is the type of brush that you would wanna to use to do that. The next item that I have, oh no, my little heart was damaged. Oh, so this says improves dry and damaged lips. Welcome to the scrub club. Oh my gosh. So I do love this little tag. I mean, look at this, you guys. Actually, it goes like this. But I mean, how cute. We've got, it looks like a lip scrub, but this is my heart and it got ripped down below. Poor thing. This is Hey Hot Tea. This is a deep exfoliating experience. The scent is Black Current Burst. So this is supposed to be like a tea box. Oh, all right. I kind of get it now. So you're seeing the box and it looks like you're going to have tea inside of this, but it's actually going to be your lip scrub. I like the scent idea. Black Current is very different. So this is what it will look like outside of the box. It seems about decent size for a lip product. Love the pink and gold again. And like I said, it's going to be black currant. It says it's an exfoliating lip scrub, so it's going to be made with sugar crystals. And this will help to break down any sort of dry skin that you might have. It is sealed when you first open it up, but I want to smell this. We're going to see. Oh, it is purple, but you can actually see those sugar crystals. So see right up there on the top? That's what's going to break down any dry skin or peeling that you might have on your lips. Oh, this is definitely a sweet version, which is probably the sugar that I'm actually smelling. But the black currant, it's like a very sweet blackberry. If you've never smelled black currant, this smells very similar to that. It smells good, but it's very sickeningly sweet. Like there's a lot of sugar in here. So I'm surprised the fruit, it's just almost like a, it's a very intense combination. Last item that we have in our box today. This is a palette, you guys. I can feel it, it's a palette. It says, you rock my world off the record, water activated paint palette. What? Keep this off the record, babe, because these lyrics are meant just for you. Introducing our brand new off the record water activated paint palette, a fully loaded disc with 30 shades and a mixing middle to let your musical madness take over. Start creating your own style and rocking to a whole new rhythm. Okay, so I have never had a water paint palette before that is... I mean, specifically designed with makeup. Obviously, I had some as kids, but like nothing like this before. I mean, I can't talk about innovative. Like you gotta hand it to her. She comes up with the coolest ideas. So this is our record straight out of the CD case. And this is what it looks like. It's a lot heavier than your traditional eyeshadow palettes. Like I can tell there's quite a bit more weight to this. So it does have a clasp at the front. There is a mirror inside, a very large mirror I might add. And then down below will be our shadows. Weird, they look just like matte shadows. I mean, honestly, I can't even tell that they wouldn't be regular eyeshadow, but you can tell with this palette that they're set down a little bit deeper. So all of these trays, there's room to add a little bit of water to blend, to mix. The brushes, oh my gosh, light bulb. Maybe you guys got it before I did, but I just now got it. That's why they gave us these really fine brushes because again, you can mix them together with some water here. You'll have these really fine brushes and that way you can do really creative artistry looks. Like, holy bananas, it all just came together. I love the way she thinks. This is what it looks like up close. I do like the wheel that you've got, you know, lots of different shades here. And then, like I said, if you'll notice, see how deeper these grooves are? So there is room to blend and mix. And then you can dip and mix together all in this center pan and create all sorts of different looks. So it's a unique idea. As far as the colors go, it is so warm and so dark. I'm hoping 
with water, it would lighten it up because this is really dark for summertime. But you know, I gotta respect the creative side of this because I love seeing some innovation and something new. So that is everything inside of my P. Louise box for June 2024. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Honestly, I don't think this is my favorite box ever. I really liked May's box and I do think it was a little bit better than this, but I don't hate this box. It's more so personal preferences. I still think the value is good. I love the creativity and seeing some different products, but I just don't think for myself, I will use everything out of this one, so it's just not as great for me. But I do think it's still a good subscription box. But you guys comment down below, let me know what you think, do you love it? And those of you that got this palette, have you tried it yet? Like, what do you think? Do you like the formula? Do you like the water? And then my question is, can we use it without water? Like, could we just try and use it as a regular eyeshadow palette? I don't know, I'm gonna have to play with this one. We're just gonna see what happens. So until next time, beautifuls, have a great rest of your day. And I will see you all in my next unboxing video. Bye.